Excuse me, little dog. All right, guys. Well, it is a great rainy Monday morning here in the end times. That would be Monday morning, December 25th, 2023. Uh, what is December 20th? Oh, yes. <clears throat> it is Christmas Day in Doomsday Trailer out here at the end of the rutted out dirt road in the swamp in Dunallen, Florida. And the little dog and I are actually waiting for my hot date to show up. I, I have been penciled in for Christmas lunch before she runs off with her second date for Christmas dinner. Uh, I hope the woman is hungry. Uh, so anyway, while I wait around her, I uh, thought I would just come say Merry Christmas. So it was eight years ago today <coughs> that this little dog, Sancho Panza, and his brother in St. Croix, Virgin Islands, were abandoned on the roadside to die. Um, Christmas morning, Sancho and his brother were stuck in some weird-looking wooden crate with no, uh, no food, no water, uh, and, and abandoned on the roadside to die. I understand that there is nowhere on that island of St. Croix that's more than 45 minutes tops to the dog pound and it was the Christmas DJ who uh, had his 8 o'clock Christmas morning show. So he was coming down the road about 6 o'clock on Christmas morning and saw this crate on the side of the road. And he was hoping he was going to score some free pineapples or mangoes or avocados. So thank God he, he stopped his car. It was before the sun came up over the mountain and found Sancho and his brother uh, cowering in this crate. So that nice man took them to the dog pound. <coughs> and we all know the rest of this story. It will be our eighth anniversary on January 13th. But this little dog, if it had not been for that DJ, would have, he and his brother, would have probably, you know, just died of heat stroke in a crate on the side of the road on Christmas morning. You know, there, there, there's some cold-hearted humans on this planet. So anyway, I, I was, <clears throat> I had actually totally forgot about this till I, uh, went on the mainstream media to see what was going on on the planet today from Zombie Island and maybe uh, Andy the gardener who lost his cat to a gas-sucking car recently should pay attention to this. <coughs> Puppy with missing paw abandoned in carrier bag on Christmas Eve a puppy with a missing paw has been rescued after being abandoned in a carrier bag in a parking lot on Christmas Eve. The dog has been named Buddy by rescuers. He is now getting the care he needs at the RSPCA. He was <clears throat> found about 10 a.m. yesterday in a parking lot in London by a dog walker. Um, RSPA Animal Rescue Officer Nicholas Thomas said, quote, this little, this lovely little chap was deliberately abandoned, tied in an Iceland carrier bag. Had it not been for the kind actions of the passerby who lent a helping hand, we might be looking at a different outcome. It must have been a very frightening and bewildering experience for him. And it's just very sad to see a young dog being heartlessly cast aside, especially on Christmas Eve. Yeah, then it goes on and talks about how abandonments 
are at a three year high. Uh, <clears throat> so I guess this is the Humane Society of London um, has taken in right shy of 20,000 abandoned animals in 2023. In November alone, over 1,600 animals were abandoned at the pound. Uh, and it's only expected to go shooting through the roof. Anyway, uh, we're desperately concerned about the coming winter months. Abandonments have soared and many rescue centers are full to bursting. So we are facing an unprecedented winter crisis. So they are putting out the call in Zombie Island uh, for people to come adopt a fur baby. Uh, so Andy the gardener, are you listening? So my comment to that story was there are some cold-hearted humans on this planet. There are some cold-hearted humans on this planet. And speaking of cold-hearted humans, I went from that story, several uh, stories uh, about, you might remember this story about this dentist uh, and his wife went big game hunting over there in Africa and, and apparently the dude shot his wife so he and his girlfriend could accept, could get her life insurance payout. And I guess he has now officially been found guilty. Larry Rudolph, a Pennsylvania dentist and big game hunter, was found guilty of killing his wife, Bianca, on a hunting trip in Africa. Uh, he was arrested two years ago for the shooting death of Bianca Rudolph, his wife of 34 years, while they were on a hunting trip in Zambia. Uh, <clears throat> Rudolph and Bianca traveled to Zambia in late September 2016 so that Bianca also a big game hunter, could hunt a leopard. They were getting ready to leave their hunting camp in Kafui National Park on the morning of October 11th when Bianca was shot in the chest with a Browning shotgun. So, uh, anyway, so this murderous bitch, uh, she was over there to kill a leopard. It was unclear. They call it a hunting camp inside a national park. And so, the, so these two uh, cold-blooded killers were over there. Uh, here is a, a picture of this big, brave he-man killing a reindeer. Uh, that's with a big shit-eating grin on his face. Look at the big man. Killing a killing a reindeer. Yeah, his name. The dude's name is Rudolph. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can't see if the reindeer this big tough man killed has a red nose. So anyway, uh, my comment to that story was that's one lucky leopard. Thank you, dude, for taking out this murderous harlot. Obviously, I was going to say uh, murderous bitch, but I changed bitch because I, I knew that would get me my comment rejected. So that was one lucky leopard. Thank you, dude, for taking out this, that's right, this cold-blooded murderous harlot. And I posted that comment on Yahoo News. And then I went, <laughs> went for one more. 
I'm sorry, I, 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 I went for two more. Here is people shrieking in tears. Cruise passengers return to flooded cars at port. It was the last thing Carnival Sunshine, pa Carnival Sunshine passengers expected when they returned to the port of Charleston. Passengers had just endured a rocky cruise to the Bahamas only to, be to come to a flooded parking lot and their cars ruined. Over the weekend, the East Coast was pounded by severe weather resulting in gale force winds, heavy rains, and flooding. By midday on Sunday, Charleston received nearly four inches of rain and the tide gauge reached over nine feet. When passengers disembarked and arrived at the flooded cruise terminal parking lot, they discovered their vehicles damaged with salt water, if not totally ruined. <laughs> I absolutely uh, loved this one, uh, and uh, so uh, I left no comment with, you, you know, when you read a story like that, no comment is necessary, so I decided not to leave a comment. So one more <clears throat> Christmas morning story from CNN the fake news network. After a terrible year of climate news, here are five reasons, five reasons to feel positive this Christmas. There has been no shortage of bleak climate news this year. Unprecedented global heat-fueled deadly extreme weather events Scientists issued dire warnings that next year may be worse still, and the world's carbon pollution keeps rising. But amid the gloom, there have also been signs of progress. Yes, here are five reasons on Christmas morning to be her. Five reasons to be heard. Five reasons to be heard, to be heard, to be heard, to be to be heard, to be hopeful on Christmas morning. Number one reason to be positive this morning on Christmas. A surge in renewable energy. Yes. Number two, a climate deal, talking about Cop Out 28, that targets fossil fuels. Mm -hmm. A climate deal that targets fossil fuels. Number three, plummeting deforestation in Brazil. That's number three. Number four, the ozone layer is healing well. Hmm. And number five, do not forget electric vehicle sales surge. My comment to that story was you forgot number six, the moon is made of green cheese. Number seven, the check is in the mail, and number eight, that dress does not make you look fat. Obviously, I left off number nine. I promise I will not come in your mouth uh, because I figured that might get me rejected by the Yahoo community. So anyway, I read those three stories Open up my email five minutes later, shocked to find only one of my three comments has been rejected for violating the Yahoo community standards. Okay, guys, which comment was rejected out of the three 
there are some cold-blooded humans on the planet from the abandoned dog story the thank you dude for uh, that was a lucky leopard thank you dude for taking out that cold-blooded murderous harlot that was number two or was it number three you forgot the moon is made of green cheese the check is in the mail and that dress does not make you look fat <laughs> so i open up and i find one of the one of those comments has been uh, rejected by the yahoo community for violating their terms of service so obviously uh, I assumed it was to comment about the cold-blooded murderous harlot that you know that the word harlot uh, set off it was on their list or their their banned words so which comment was it was it that comment or was it one of the other ones if your answer was the third comment about the moon being made of green cheese and the rest of them give yourself a gold star that was they they had no problem with the cold-blooded murderous harlot uh being murdered by her husband uh and, and i'm thrilled to say that a lot of people made similar comments uh, that, that 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 fucking nasty bitch deserved everything she got and now uh, she's fucking dead. This motherfucker is in life for prison, uh, in prison for life. So we've got two of these fucking scumbags uh, off the planet. Uh, anyway, uh, nope, it was the, uh, the green cheese comment. So I went back and reposted a second comment about 20 minutes ago which has not been rejected and it said my last comment to this article about things to be positive about on christmas morning was rejected by the yahoo community for violating its standards i must be doing something right and uh, the yahoo community is letting that one stand i guess but anyway, I just got a text from my hot date, probably uh, canceling our date. I assume she was texting me to let me know she is on her way. She lives 22 minutes from here, so I better wrap this up and uh, get Doomsday Trailer ready for my first female visitor. Wish me luck. Merry Christmas, my guys. Okay, little dog, are you ready for Christmas dinner? <laughs>